Uh, I'll tell you, we dug into some data for you today. You're more likely to get into a wreck when it's raining. No surprise there, but would you believe Hamilton County here with all of its highways and its traffic, as you can see, actually only ranked third in terms of the rate of crashes blamed on rain. It was northern Kentucky counties that took the top two spots. It's clear the crash is bad. A FedEx truck mangled among other cars. This video provided by Erlanger Police Department shows the mess. I was stuck for about an hour and a half. And on 275, Christopher Turner of Forest Park loses control on the wet highway. He was killed when he crossed the median and hit another driver head on, shutting down the interstate and stranding drivers. On our way through a week ago, the exact same thing happened. We like to joke about how bad Cincinnatians are at driving in the rain, so I decided it was time to go back to school. <sighs> driving school, that is. Most people don't realize that the oil and grease that comes up from the pavement after one day of rain, in other words, tomorrow morning it's going to be a lot slipperier than it was this morning. Well, some things to keep in mind for tomorrow morning. Don't be in a hurry. Maybe you've heard this. Stay a car length or two back from the car in front of you for every 10 miles an hour you're driving. Well, forget it. When it rains, experts now say the car in front of you should pass something four to five, even up to seven seconds before you do. Make sure your tire treads are in good shape. That's another. You can't get traction if they're worn down. And something else to consider, especially at this time of year. All those wet leaves on the roads can have the same effect as ice. The parents have to set an example. They should. They should discuss this type of weather with their with their child, discuss some of the things that can you, that you can do to avoid accidents. And for the adults that got to get up and drive in this tomorrow morning, I recommend that you leave at least a half hour early, allow yourself a little extra time. It's always nice to get a little refresher driving course. So nine is on your side right now on WCBO.com with a couple of interesting things we posted for you throughout the day. The first, you might remember a, an online publication ranked Cincinnati drivers in the top 20 worst in the country. You can read the reasons behind that and our reaction to it. But we just posted an interactive map from our data guy, Mark Nichols. You can click on the counties I mentioned earlier. It breaks down crashes by weather conditions. It's something you'll want to check out. You'll only find it on WCPO.com right now. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side. So